Today we're going to be setting up the Behringer FCB1010 to work with the camera scenes on the Korg M3. So we're going to start with the M3 and we're going to go into Global, Page 1 and just make sure that the MIDI channel is set to 01. Mine's on 14, so I'm just going to change that to 01. Click enter. And then we're going to go on to global page 2. And CC assign. And then press at the top. Reset controller MIDI assign. And then we're going to change that drop down box to CC default. And then we're going to write the global setting on that by pressing the top right button. Right global setting. OK. So that sets MIDI channel to number one to match the Behringer. And then the scene for the uh, MIDI assign is 30. That's its custom preset. And now onto the Behringer. So press the and hold the down button and then switch the unit on while you're holding a button. Wait a few seconds. And then we want numbers 8, 9 and 5 to light up. And if they're not lit up, just press them and they'll light up. And when you've got all those on, keep the down button pressed again for a few seconds. There's 10 banks on the FCB 1010 and we're going to use bank number one for this one. And then we're going to program button number one. So if we can press number one so that it lights up and then press and hold the down button to get into programming mode. And then the only numbers that we want on now are numbers four and five. Some of the others are on, could all be different on yours, but all that we want on is four and five. So press and hold the other numbers that are on that you don't want on and they will go off and when you've done that press up now we don't want any lights on and they're all off so we press up again and now we want lights number one six seven eight and nine on so press and hold one six seven eight nine to get those on i've got number 10 on so i need to press and hold that to get that off and then we want number six to flash. So we press that again, just a little tap on that to get it to flash and then press up. Now we're gonna type in 30, that was a MIDI number and press up. And then we're gonna press zero and then up and zero again and press up. And then we're gonna hold the down button and that finishes programming that button number one. Now we're going to program button number two. So we light that up, press and hold the down button. And again, we just want numbers four and five lit up. So we're going to press and hold the other lights to get them off. And then when we've just got four and five remaining, we will press up. Then we don't want any lights on at all. 8 and 9 are on, so we'll get rid of those and then press up. And then we want 1, 6, 7, 8, 9 again, just like last time. And when those are on, we tap number 6 to get it flashing and then press up. Enter number 30, up. And this time we're not going to do 0, we're going to do 1. And up. And then 0, up. And press and hold the down button. And that will finish programming that second button. And then we're going to program the third button. So we press number three and press down and hold it. And then we just want numbers four and five lit up. And when we've got it just to numbers four and five, we press up. And then we don't want any lights on at all. So we make sure that all the lights are off. And then press up. And then we want numbers one, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and we want number six to flash press up type in 30 up and then press 2 up 0 up and press and hold the down button and then the final button now we're going to program is number 4 so press number 4 to light it up and press and hold the down button we just want numbers 4 and 5 lit up And then we press the up button, make sure all the lights are off and press up again. One, six, seven, eight, nine, and six flashing, and then press up. And then type in three, zero, 30, press up. And then this time we're pressing number three and then up and then zero and then up and then press and hold the down button and that's them all programmed one two three four